The following is a production of Florida State University's Office of University Communications. Coming up on FSU Headlines, caps and gowns galore. Florida State University celebrates the class of 2015. A call to serve. Florida State's Truman Scholar leads through service to others. And two scoops all around. It's time for an ice cream study break. Stay tuned for these stories and much, much more. FSU Headlines starts now. Hello and welcome to another edition of FSU Headlines here in the beautiful William Johnston Building at Florida State University. I'm Dennis Schnitker. The Donald L. Tucker Civic Center at Florida State welcomes one of its largest crowds of the year. It's not for basketball or even a concert. This crowd is here to celebrate another big event, spring commencement. Here's a look at the class of 2015's special day. We are assembled this evening to pay tribute to our graduates. I have an opportunity to walk across this stage, shake President Crasher's hand, and get that diploma, man. Four years, it's a lot of hard work and dedication coming to, coming to an end, so I'm excited about it. It feels very successful at this time, the fact that after so long, I was able to complete my degrees uh, in both majors and be able to move on to grad school now in the upcoming semester. When you go out from here, never put in a second-rate effort. If you find yourself in a situation where second-rate effort it satisfies you, think about it and look round to find something else where only your best effort will satisfy you in particular. Don't worry about anything else, it's you personally that's important. My sister is an alumni, so I remember when I was younger I walked around campus and I was like so excited just to be here, so I guess these four years I just kind of soaked it all in and it just went by so quickly. There is an exceptionalism about this country and we should cherish and not hesitate for a second to admit to who we are and why we are, you are, so extraordinary. It taught me a lot about myself, honestly, because coming into college, like, that's not, that's one, that was one of my main goals, learning who I am and throughout doing the service and being involved with student government, it taught, me, it taught me a lot about myself and who I am and what, what my purpose was here at Florida State University. Be good at what you do. Don't let anybody outwork you. Wear your garnet and gold proudly. Be true to your school. Go notice. On behalf of the university and this assembly, I congratulate them and wish them every, every success. But now change your tassels from right to left, all right? Yeah. More than 6,200 students graduated this spring with about 4,700 bachelor's, master's, and doctoral candidates participating in the commencement ceremonies. One of the many things that makes Florida State so unique is its close relationship with the Seminole Tribe of Florida. That relationship is the foundation for a special ceremony unlike any other. Members of the class of 2015 were honored during the annual cultural graduation known as the Rite of Atakishetev. The ceremony's name comes from the Seminole Creek words meaning to honor. These graduates receive a special red, white, yellow and black hood to wear during commencement ceremonies which signifies their leadership in cultural organizations at Florida State. Deanna Osceola, a member of the Seminole Tribe of Florida and a 2009 Florida State graduate, imparted some words of wisdom to the graduates during her keynote speech. I'm also proud of my tribe for inviting and accepting the university and the Null Nation into our traditions. Um, Atakishatev is to honor. That is the Seminole Creek word that means to honor. 
And our goal really with creating this program was to create an intimate space for graduates to um, celebrate the collective, the, the circle of success that helped them uh, achieve this particular uh, milestone in their life. The annual campus event is hosted by the Center for Leadership and Social Change, the Center for Academic Retention and Enhancement, and the Student Government Association. The President's Ring Ceremony is another special effort banding Florida State students together. FSU Headlines reporter Nadia Carone joins us now to explain. Nadia? Dennis, the President's Ring Ceremony is a rite of passage for Florida State University students. And in its 10th year, this tradition continues to leave a lasting impact on graduates. This year, one graduate in particular was very excited to take part in the ceremony. Unfortunately, my grandfather passed away and uh, he left uh, a piece of, of him with me. What he left is his uh, ring from 1958 when he graduated. And uh, it's, uh, it's a wonderful piece of, uh, of history that, that I'll keep within the family for the rest of my life and hopefully longer. <laughs> For 10 years, Florida State graduates have been able to receive the symbolic ring from FSU's precedents, embodying traditions that are true to Florida State University. This annual event is a perfect way to send off graduates with fond memories of their university. We want students when they leave here to have great memories about Florida State, to solidify that lifelong connection with the university so they are not just alums but active alums. These graduating seniors participate in one more tradition too. During senior week, they dip their new rings in the Westcott Fountain to commemorate their time at FSU. Dennis, back to you. All right, thanks Nadia for that report. This spring, Florida State University's Garnet and Gold Scholar Society inducted its largest class yet. The 144 inductees represent some of Florida State's most accomplished student leaders. FSU President John Thrasher welcomes these new Garnet and Gold Scholars during the spring induction ceremony. The Scholar Society recognizes the engaged, well-rounded student who excels within and beyond the classroom in the areas of leadership, internship, service, international study, and research. Well, I believe that participating in the Garnet and Gold Scholar Society has given us the opportunity to actually be recognized by the things that we do. It's just a great experience all over. They're going to be involved in, in so many different things, culturally, businesses, uh, starting businesses themselves, medical school, all the things that, uh, that obviously enrich our country, enrich our state. It's, a, it's an amazing program. Garnet and Gold Scholars wear the special gold medallion at the full commencement ceremonies to note their accomplishment. The Robert O'Lawton Distinguished Professorship is the highest honor the Florida State University faculty bestows upon a colleague. Computational science professor and researcher Max Gunsberger has been selected as this year's Lawton professor. I always have trouble with PS tricks. <laughs> yeah. Computational science involves the development and application of algorithms that enable the use of computers to solve science and engineering problems. It's a field that Gunsberger has been a leader in for decades. What did you think of what he said there? It was, it was very nice. It was pretty cool. Man. Gunsberger has developed and analyzed novel algorithms that he and others have applied to a variety of fields, including aerodynamics and climate. Gunsberger joined the Florida State faculty in 2002 as a Francis Epps Professor of Mathematics and a researcher in the School of Computational Science and Information Technology. The Lawton is strictly a faculty uh, you know, the decisions, the nominations, everything has to come from the faculty. Administrators are not involved, so that makes it especially rewarding that it's a recognition from your peers, from the people who are sitting at desks or in labs, you know, doing research. Those are the people who decide who gets the lot. And so that's been very satisfying and it makes it especially satisfying, you know, award to get. The Lawton Distinguished Professor Award was first presented in 1957. It bears the name of Florida State's late Vice President for Academic Affairs, Robert O. Lawton. Well, coming up next on FSU Headlines, an outstanding Florida State University psychology major earns a prestigious national scholarship. Being a Truman Scholar has really affirmed a lot of my beliefs um, in myself. Um, it's also it's also getting credit for hard work that I've done. We'll take a look at how Daniel Hubbard's compassion is making a difference in the lives of others when FSU Headlines returns in a moment. 
I've always been curious about things, and that really just leads you straight into science because science really is formalized curiosity. One of the coolest things I've gotten to do at FSU has been conduct research with Sir Harry Croto, and I was really surprised that I would get to hear directly from a Nobel laureate in chemistry, and I was even more surprised to find out that he was just really accessible. Being here at FSU has helped me be the best student that I can be. When you purchase a Florida State University license plate, you're supporting students, like me. Tag, you're in. Welcome back to FSU Headlines. I'm Dennis Schnitker. The Harry S. Truman Scholarship Foundation recently selected a Florida State University junior as one of this year's Truman Scholars. The only one from Florida, I might add. FSU Headlines reporter Mark Vaughn sat down with the former Army medic to talk about this incredible accomplishment. Florida State University psychology major Daniel Hubbard's journey to Florida State started in Tallahassee as a high school student. After high school, Hubbard says he wanted to make a difference in the world, so it was off to the military to become an Army medic. When I served in the Army, uh, well, when I got out of high school, I decided to join the Army uh, as a medic. And then once I got through the school, you know, being a medic, and once I got into deployment, once I got back home, I decided I wanted to continue my education, and I thought Florida State would be a good place to do that. His experience in the military helping others led him to his calling and to Florida State University to study psychology and, more specifically, suicide. I started searching, uh, you know, opportunities to conduct research at Florida State. So I got involved in the undergraduate research opportunity program. I also got involved uh, in Dr. Joyner's uh, research lab on suicide. And uh, that was very formative in uh, helping me understand what I wanted to do, uh, which was research and uh, also be a clinician. It gave me the opportunity to engage with the literature to learn about suicide. And I came across an article on military suicide. And really, that was kind of a history for me. I mean, it was. Uh, it grabbed my attention and it hasn't let go since. Through his coursework and research efforts as part of FSU's undergraduate research experience, Hubbard has developed into a great student and researcher. And those two things have led him to this prestigious Harry S. Truman Scholarship. Daniel is a wonderful representative for the type of students that the Truman Foundation looks for in their Truman Scholars. He is highly engaged in his academics. He engages in undergraduate research here at the university, but he's also very passionate around an issue that is going to allow him to engage beyond the classroom. Being a Truman Scholar has really affirmed a lot of my beliefs um, in myself. It's also getting credit for hard work that I've done, and that's important. Um, a, a lot of people do a lot of hard work, and you know, sometimes you get rejected, and sometimes you get turned down, and that's okay because it's stuff like this that, you know, it pays off. Through the scholarship, Hubbard will have opportunities to participate in professional development programming and preparation for a career in public service leadership. He'll also receive $30,000 to study at the graduate school of his choice. FSU President John Thrasher is excited to have Daniel Hubbard represent the university. I had the pleasure of meeting Daniel first and foremost. He is a humble young man who uh, cares deeply about uh, the university, cares deeply about the research he's doing. And uh, I know that uh, he will be an outstanding representative of Florida State University, but it's symbolic of a lot of the things that are going on at this university. Many of the great things that our students are doing, this is just one example of it, but a, a, a shining example. Daniel Hubbard joins the prestigious ranks of Truman Scholars as part of the 2015 class of just 58 Truman Scholars nationally, and he's the only Truman Scholar in Florida this year. For FSU Headlines, I'm Mark Vaughn. All right, thank you, Mark. Daniel and his fellow Truman Scholars will receive their awards in a ceremony this month at the Harry S. Truman Presidential Library and Museum in Missouri.
The Goldwater is another highly regarded national scholarship for college juniors, and yes, Florida State has one of those too. Joining us now to tell us about it is FSU Headlines reporter Nora Bertolet. Hi, Nora. Hey, Dennis. Well, Molly Gordon is one of Florida State's brightest students, and she plans to use this Goldwater scholarship to further her research on DNA replication during her senior year. Florida State University junior Molly Gordon wanted to go beyond the classroom to further her interest in biology. So she took the initiative to connect with a few research professors here at FSU. Your hand was over the dish, so her determination and hard work is producing results both in and out of the lab. I started doing a DIS, which is a directed independent study, and um, I was trained by a graduate student, Zhao Sima, and she helped me learn all the basic techniques you need for molecular biology, and she just made everything really approachable for me because I thought I was going to be very lost as an undergrad, but um, she really made it very accessible, and then from okay. that experience, I morphed our project into an honors thesis for myself, and she's been helping me with that also. Gordon works with stem cells, and it's an opportunity most undergraduates don't get. Under the direction of Professor David Gilbert, she's narrowed her interest to cellular and molecular biology. Her honors thesis, Understanding the Role of DNA Sequence in Replication Timing, has helped Gordon reinforce what she's learned in the classroom. One thing that I really like is how much research solidifies all the topics that I've learned in my classes. So um, maybe I learned it in introductory, in introductory biology and um, went back and learned it in the lab and then now I'm in a higher level class like cell structure and function and it makes so much more sense actually having a chance to do the research that we're talking about in class. The Hollywood, Florida native is passionate about the help she's received from her mentors and colleagues here at Florida State and credits their support during the process to expand her studies. I really like the academics here at Florida State. I think the professors are some of the greatest people I've ever met in my life and they're just always willing to stay after class and talk with you and you go to their office or you find them somewhere in their lab and you can ask them anything and they're willing to help you even outside of the coursework so you can go and ask them about um, career advice or just anything personal you want to talk with them about and they'll never really shoo you away. They're actually really inviting and then they'll care whether or not you're they want you to do well, and if they see that you're struggling, they definitely want to help you. With her dedication and the guidance she received from the Office of National Fellowships, Gordon received the prestigious Goldwater Scholarship. This highly competitive award goes to exceptional students in the science, technology, engineering, and mathematic fields. It made me feel really good, and um, uh, even just getting to be one of the four from FSU to represent, um, it made me feel like my university had a lot of faith in me and they supported my research, which felt really good. And I wrote some thank you notes to the committee members, so it felt more personal, like I could thank them for their support and their help. And um, then obviously winning at the national level was quite an honor and I'm really glad to see my name there on the website. And it just makes my dream of graduate school seem a lot more realistic and approachable, bridging the gap between here and there. So Molly spoke to me about her research and one of the things that struck me immediately was her ability to take very complex scientific concepts and explain them to an educated layman such as myself in a way that was not only passionate, which displayed her clear desire and excitement around the project, but in a way that demonstrated the broader applications of the very specific work that she was trying to do so that I could get excited about the work with her. With an impressive list of scholarships already under her belt at Florida State, Gordon says that receiving the Goldwater Scholarship in time for her senior year will help her fund the culmination of her honors thesis and eventually propel her to a graduate career in research. Two other students at Florida State received honorable mentions from the Goldwater Foundation as well. All right, Nora, thanks for that report. Both Daniel Hubbard and Molly Gordon will move on to graduate school eventually, where it's likely they'll continue to distinguish themselves, much as the students in our next story have done. FSU Headlines reporter Molly Reed joins us now with more. Molly? 
Thanks, Dennis. The FSU Graduate School is recognizing its outstanding advanced degree seekers with the Graduate School Excellence Award Ceremony. Florida State Graduate School Dean Nancy Marcus welcomes the gathering of graduate researchers and teaching assistants to the FSU Alumni Center for the ceremony. Florida State is recognizing their achievements this year in research, leadership, and teaching assistantship. I think a ceremony like this that recognizes graduate students is critically important and, and, and very telling about how FSU treats and views graduate students. They don't treat them as second-class citizens, but rather they see them as, as being on par with faculty members. There are more than 8,000 graduate students seeking advanced degrees in more than 220 degree programs here at FSU. This year, for the first time ever, faculty members were also recognized for their dedication to their graduate students and a commitment to excellence with the Graduate Faculty Mentor Award. To see a list of this year's winners, visit news.fsu.edu. That's it from the Alumni Center. Back to you, Dennis. It's springtime, and that means football is back in action, at least for a little while. We'll show you how the new look Knowles are gearing up for the 2015 football season when FSU Headlines continues in a moment. Welcome back to FSU Headlines. I'm Dennis Schnitker. It's hard to believe that the FSU football team is already looking towards summer after wrapping up spring football practice, but they are and the Seminoles are looking to build off the momentum of a strong spring campaign. FSU Headlines reporter Mark Vaughn joins us now with more on this year's Garnet and Gold game. Mark? Hey Dennis, the Florida State University football team will have to replace some of its top talent from the last couple of years. It's a pretty tall task when you think about number one overall draft pick Jameis Winston and 28 of his teammates now part of the NFL. FSU now has to fill those shoes. And well, this spring game, some promising young guns showed up and showed out. It makes the future look pretty bright for the Seminoles. The annual Garnet and Gold spring game was a little damp with some rainy skies, but that didn't stop some big plays from happening in Doe Campbell Stadium. All in all, a solid spring for Coach Jimbo Fisher and crew heading into this offseason. They'll see a lot of speed work and strength and conditioning in the weight room as they prepare the new crop of players for the 2015 season. And remember, don't blink because the season will be here before you know it. The Knowles opened the 2015 campaign on September 5th with Texas State coming to Doe. Okay, so let's move things into the other spring sports and talk about Seminoles baseball. A solid season for the Knowles baseball squad with the bulk of their good play coming at home on Mike Martin Field. The team looking for momentum heading into the ACC tournament in Durham. The Knowles getting the best of rivals Miami and Florida this season, taking both season series to claim the right to be called state champs. But of course, this squad, like every other one in the past, looking for bigger things come playoff time. Ranked in the top 10 in the nation, this Florida State baseball team has relied on good pitching and strong batting to win more than 35 games this year. The ACC tournament runs through the end of the month, with the NCAA tournament starting soon after. And of course, for updates on all these sports and the latest news from Florida State Athletics, you can always visit Seminoles.com. Dennis, back to you. All right, Mark, thanks for that sports update. Let's move things to the water and head to Florida State's Coastal Marine Laboratory for its annual open house. How are you doing today, huh? Florida State University students and faculty from multiple departments across campus were on hand to greet guests and educate them on the research being conducted at the lab. The topics of interest range from biodiversity, biogeochemistry, and fish ecology. Lab director and marine ecologist Felicia Coleman's hope for the open house and other events at the Marine Lab is to pique the interest of the general public and connect with the community. I would hope that one of the things that the public takes out of this is a, uh, a new awareness of where their spot is in the ecosystem and how they can influence the marine and coastal environment in a number of different ways. From a scavenger hunt to games and more, there's plenty for everyone to enjoy. The Florida Wildlife Commission, the Alligator Point Sea Turtle Patrol, and the Wakulla Environmental Institute were also on hand to interact with guests of the Marine Lab. And they even offered an oyster tasting for everyone to enjoy. 
And this year's open house drew in more than 900 attendees, which Coleman hopes will boost interest for the many events the Coastal and Marine Lab hosts throughout the year. Well, the school year is officially in the books, but before students took their final exams, it was time for good old fashioned ice cream. The President's Ice Cream Social is a springtime tradition here at Florida State University. Take a look at the sights and sounds of this year's ice cream study break. Well, this is one of the things that shrinks the campus by bringing kids, you know, the kids together. It really helps, I think, and that, that's a big deal because, you know, you have 42,000 people, you've got to find ways to do that. So to be around them, to be involved with them is just an amazing thing. Can I take a selfie with you guys? Sure. Yeah. Um, so it's really cool that our like, university puts on events that use their ANSP, so I actually like, have a good time. It's a lot bigger this year than it has been in the past. Like if you walk to class, you don't get to interact with people, but you're waiting in line, you're like dancing, you get to like get food and stuff. So I think it's definitely a great experience to see all the people at FSU. Anytime FSU hosts an event like this, I get so happy just because it brings all, uh, all the community together and yeah, it's amazing. It goes back to Florida State being a family. We're, they're a good family and everybody loves being around Enjoy. each other and we have a good time. Good time. Everybody loves ice cream. Well, that's going to do it for this edition of FSU Headlines, but you can see more news from Florida State University anytime at Florida State 24-7. It's the official news website of Florida State University, and you can find it at news.fsu.edu. On behalf of everyone here at Florida State University, I'm Dennis Schnitker. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time.